Spider versus Scorpion. Who is the king of the arachnids? Spiders and scorpions are considered to be two of the most feared animals. Both of these creatures are classified as arachnids and, along with mites, ticks and harvestmen, possess eight legs. Their behavior and habits are also somewhat similar. In today's fight, we will choose the biggest spider and the biggest scorpion, Goliath Bird Eater versus Emperor Scorpion. The Goliath Bird Eater spider is actually one that belongs to the Tarantula group. It is the second largest spider in the world when you look at the legs of it. Many experts claim it is the largest too due to the overall mass of it. As the name suggests, it is well capable of eating small birds of the rainforest. Scorpions are an intimidating group of animals. With pincers on the front and a stinger on the back, scorpions are all business at both ends. Despite the spooky look, scorpions are a misunderstood group of animals, and most species do not pose a threat to humans. Size and Description Bird eaters are an incredibly large species of tarantula, and their leg span can be up to 12 inches across. 30 centimeters. An adult can weigh up to 170 grams or 6 ounces. Like all tarantulas, they have a large abdomen and a smaller cephalothorax. This spider's spinnerets are at the end of its abdomen and its fangs are at the front of its cephalothorax. They have very large fangs, which can be up to 1.5 inches long, 3.8 centimeters. Each fang is equipped with venom, but it is mild and not dangerous to humans, unless you are allergic. Molting also allows goliath spiders to regenerate broken limbs. The new limb is smaller and underdeveloped after molting, but it gradually gains size and mass with each molting session to eventually reach the normal size. The hairs on its feet and body are so sensitive they can pick up even the smallest vibrations in its surroundings. Based on these vibrations, the spider is able to maintain a safe distance while it gets a clear picture about the size of prey and predators wandering nearby. Emperor scorpions are the largest species of scorpions in the world, measuring an average of 7.9 inches 20 centimeters in length. They also tend to be heavier than other scorpions, and pregnant females can weigh more than 0.9 ounces, 28 grams. The body of the emperor scorpion is shiny black in color with two huge pedipalps in the front, four legs and a long tail ending in a stinger. Emperor scorpions have special sensory structures called pectines behind their limbs for sensing features of the terrain. Like other anthropods, emperor scorpions undergo multiple molts. Their venom is mild and mainly used for defensive purposes. They generally use their huge claws to kill prey. Like other scorpions, emperor scorpions give off a fluorescent bluish-green appearance under UV light. Range and Habitat Goliath bird eaters are native to northern South America. They are found in Brazil, Venezuela, Suriname, French Guiana, and Guyana. Their primary range is within the Amazon rainforest. This species is found nowhere else in the world naturally, but they are kept and bred in captivity. Unlike some tarantula species, these creatures live mainly in humid rainforests of South America. More specifically, they live in upland rainforests. Some of their favorite habitats are marshes and swamps located in the dense forest. They dig burrows in the soft, moist soil and hide within them. Emperor scorpions are native to West Africa and are predominantly found in forests of Nigeria, Togo, Sierra Leone, Ghana and the Congo region. Emperor scorpions are typically found in hot and humid forests. 
They reside in burrows and prefer to live under leaf litter, forest debris, stream banks, and also in mounds of termites, their main prey. Emperor scorpions tend to live communally and are found in large numbers in regions of human habitation. Diet. Even though the Goliath bird eater spider got its name from eating a bird, they rarely are seen doing so. They typically will consume all types of insects. They are larger sized spiders though, so they will also eat rodents, snakes, bats and lizards too. They will take the opportunity to eat whatever comes along. They are often given a diet of cockroaches when they are in captivity. Emperor scorpions feed on insects, anthropods, and small invertebrates. Termites are one of their most consumed prey. Sometimes it catches large animals, for their size, like mice and lizards. Nights are their favorite time to go hunting. Young individuals usually kill their prey with the aid of the sting in the tip of their tail, while adults make use of their strong pincers to tear their opponent. Behavior. This is a very aggressive type of spider when it comes to territory. These creatures are solitary and only interact with one another to reproduce. Unlike many other arachnids, females of this species do not attempt to kill and eat potential mates. They can be very fast and very nervous. You want to avoid touching them too. Their hairs can make your skin very irritated, and their fangs are dangerous. They are one of the few species of spiders that are known to make a type of hissing noise. They do so by rubbing their legs together. Such a sound is a strong indicator that the spider feels threatened. They aren't going to retreat and run away, so it is best if you leave them alone at that point. Despite their fierce appearance, emperor scorpions are rather timid by nature. Emperor scorpions are nocturnal and are rarely active before nightfall. When threatened, they usually flee rather than fight, but if cornered in a small space, they turn aggressive and go into a defensive posture with their stinger ready. Because of their poor eyesight, they rely upon their sensory hairs to determine where their prey is. Emperor scorpions are social animals and have been observed living in colonies of up to 15 individuals. Cannibalism has been observed in this species, but it is rare. Now let's come to the big question. Who would win this legendary battle between spider and scorpion? While a scorpion appears to be fiercely armed, much of its abilities are hard countered by a tarantula of comparable size. Scorpions can be pretty intense, and they no doubt have defeated spiders, but unfortunately, scorpion venom does not appear to be as effective against spiders. A similarly sized spider has a good chance of defeating a scorpion. There was in fact a study done to see if tarantula hemolymph contained antivenom for scorpions. When tarantulas were forced to be stung by a scorpion, the tarantulas appeared to be only briefly lethargic and were never fully incapacitated. The study concluded that scorpion venom simply didn't affect the tarantula. There is the second issue with a scorpion. While the scorpion can grab the legs of a tarantula, this isn't in itself a fatal blow and in a fight, the scorpion will struggle to probe with its sting for a weakness. In that time, if the tarantula starts to overpower the scorpion, the fangs on a tarantula are going to be able to inflict a much more fatal stab than the scorpion's sting. And as we know, the venom the scorpion will deliver won't really be a knockout punch. At the same time, a tarantula can afford to lose a leg or two if its life depends on it. Unlike a scorpion's leg, a tarantula can regenerate its legs. The fangs on a tarantula are far more potent than the chalicera of the scorpion. The scorpion would need to spend a lot of time tearing at a tarantula 
to damage it enough to immobilize and kill it. That said, huge tarantula species like the Goliath bird eater are known to prey even on snakes and can take on any scorpion in their habitat. So each has their trade-offs, but I suspect the odds are not as much in the scorpion's favor as some believe. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.